Hey guys, so today let's talk about how to be a straight A student. Most people think you need to study for long hours in order to get good grades. But I'm here to tell you that's not true. You don't need to study long hours to get good grades. You just need smart, more efficient ways of studying. You probably know the story of the student who's always in the library, but they never top of their class. So how you study is more important than how long you study. Lack of focus and concentration is the biggest challenge for students. Let me give you a simple formula that will help you decrease the time you study, but still maximize your results. Work accomplished is equal to time spent times intensity of focus. So with this simple formula, we can see that there are two components to work accomplished. It's your time spent studying and your intensity of focus when you're studying. So most students think they need to increase the time spent studying in order to get good grades. But I think you should be aiming to decrease your time spent so that you can have more time for other stuff. Let's say, for example, socializing, uh, going out with friends and all those kind of things. So how do you decrease time spent studying but still get the same results? So you must increase your intensity of focus when you're studying. So here are three tips on how you can increase your intensity of focus when you study. So the first one is you must break down your study session into small chunks. So I always say it's best to use the Pomodoro technique. So what you basically do is you set a timer for 45 minutes, you sit down and make sure that you focus for 45 minutes and you engage with whatever content you're working on so meaning that you must turn off all your distractions you must make sure that your phone is on do not disturb uh, and you're focusing on what you're studying and after that 45 minutes you take a 10 minutes break so the 10 minutes break is just for you to recharge uh, so that you are able to go another 45 minutes and if you repeat this for at least four sessions you would have studied for more than three hours so make sure that you use the Pomodoro technique in order to be more efficient. Step number two is you must beat procrastination. Procrastination is the biggest challenge when it comes to being a student. So how do you beat procrastination? I feel like this is one topic that needs an entire video, but I'm going to give you a few tips on how you can beat procrastination. Number one, it's my favorite tip. So the first way you can beat procrastination is most of the times when people procrastinate is because they scrolling on social media. Let's say, for example, on TikTok, Instagram Reels, uh, YouTube Reels or whatever it is. Right. So you need to make sure that your phone is not a distraction. And how do you do this? So what I usually do is I'll take my phone, wrap it with a piece of paper. And then on that piece of paper, I write, is it worth it? And then I just put my phone somewhere, let's say, uh, in my wardrobe or something like that. So what happens is whenever you want to pick up your phone and scroll on social media, you see that code, is it worth it? And you ask yourself, is whatever I want to do on this phone worth it? And if you think about it, scrolling on social media is really not worth it and that you're not going to do it. You're going to continue studying. But if you feel like what you need to do on that phone is important, then you're going to pick it up. But that's one way you can prevent your phone from being a distraction. So number two is you can use the 10 minutes rule. So what you do is whenever you feel like you don't want to start studying, you can just convince yourself that I'm just going to study for 10 minutes. And if I feel like I don't want to continue, then I'll stop. Right. What happens most of the times is it takes some time for us to tap into work mood. The difficult part is just starting. So if you set your timer for 10 minutes, start studying you'll get into that workflow and then you'll continue studying. It's going to be easier. So the difficult part is just starting. Tip number three, which I'm going to explain in a separate video whereby I talk about how to tackle procrastination is keeping a work in progress journal. So that's why you basically say, okay, cool. I had a to do list for the day. And at the end of the day, you review out of everything I said, I'm going to do today, which task uh, are still outstanding. And you take those tasks, you write them in your work in progress journal with the reasons why you didn't do them. So most of the times you'll see that as your tasks pile up in your work in progress journal, you'll see that the reasons are usually excuses and that will motivate you to want to make sure that you complete those tasks because you really don't have any valid reason not to do them. It's just 
excuses. So tip number three is choosing the right time, location, and place to study. So in this video, I'm going to cover the time aspect and I'm going to cover location and the place in a different video. So most people usually ask, what's the best time to study, right? And I usually say as early as possible. So one mistake we do as students is usually not do anything the entire day and then say we're going to start studying later on. But later on, we're already tired and it's easier for us to say, nah, I'm going to start doing this work the following day. So I'd say whenever you do your to-do list for the day, make sure that you put time stamps in. So if you have classes, for example, from 8 a.m. until 10 p.m. and then you have a gap in between until your next class, make sure that in that gap you try to be as effective as possible and you try to put in the work. And you'll see that if you try to get your work done during the day, you have less pressure at the end of the day. And at the end of the day, you can just relax Make sure that you wind down, get a good night sleep, and then wake up the following day and do the same thing. So the best time to study is early in the morning and in the afternoon. Because after dinner, your productivity usually declines and you can't really do anything else. So the best time to study is as early as possible. So those are my three tips on how you can increase your intensity of focus when you're studying. In the following video, I'm going to give tips on how you can fight procrastination, how you can choose the right place and location to study. So make sure that if you're new to the community, you click that subscribe button. You also turn on the notification bell. Also like this video. See you next time.